How's the uh, number two spot looking behind Deuce, Coach? It's going well. It's going well. The guys are working hard. Um, they know they need to work on every single day, and I'm challenging them every single day. And so uh, DJ's come back in great shape. Uh, he's getting more comfortable. You know, for Anthony, it's all new. You know, it's not junior college. I'm, I'm on him every single snap. So he's, he's trying to get uh, used to how he's being coached. You know, so those guys are working hard. Talked about Anthony. Can you kind of specifically, what does he bring to uh, to what does he bring to the team that maybe some of the other guys don't? Well, he's a bigger back, you know, and, and he's played some college football before, so now it's getting him comfortable with what we do and how we do things. And I think once he gets comfortable, uh, you'll you'll see a good, really, very good football player. Does Deuce Vaughn still find a way to surprise you? Yes, his preparation is is amazing. Um, the way he works, the way he handles, takes care of his body. I mean, everything is working towards an ultimate goal, you know. And so uh, every day, uh, you know, this summer when I was in town, we would spend time together, watch film. He's calling me, uh, wanting this, wanting more. And so, I mean, it's just a process of, you know, how he handles everything, how he looks at everything. And, and every single day, it's a, like I said, it's a process, and he's enjoying the process right now. Like he's faster. Yes, yes. I think he's he's put on really good weight, and uh, he had a really good off season in the weight room. And uh, we got an unbelievable strength staff. You know, those guys do an unbelievable job, and I, our, our whole team's gotten faster. So, and he's one of those guys that's done that. What ways has Deuce Vaughn's uh, locker room presence grown since you've been here? Uh, I just think the people that, that see him and how he handles himself every single day. He's a constant pro. I mean, he, you know, he takes care of his body. He gets in the cold tub. He attacks the workouts during fall camp. Uh, he sits in meetings. He takes notes. And so all the things that he does, guys tr see that, and they try to be like him. And that just helps our locker room because he's always – he's never too high, he's never too low, and he's always got a smile on his face. Um, what, what, what have you seen out of him as far as growth from last year to this year? Being comfortable. You know, being comfortable. Like, playing running back at this level, it's just not about just getting the ball. There's so many things that, that go along with understanding the offense, understanding what the guys up front are doing, you know, understanding what the defense is doing, how the defense is lined up, you know, and reading your dots, understanding your reads in the run game, understand your protections and those things. And you can see him getting comfortable every single day. And the thing I tease him about all the time, he's such a quiet kid, but he's, he's smiling more. You know, and, and that's why I try to tell the guys all the time. Guys, when you walk out of that locker room and on the field as we're out here on the grass, man, put a smile on your face because it's fun. you got to have fun. And so that's one thing DJ's done for me. He's put a smile on his face every single day. He's having fun. Coach talked about uh, with Deuce trying to find different ways to get him the ball, whether it's motioning him or in the slot. Does that maybe create some more opportunities for other guys when you're moving him around? Yes, definitely does because you know, we're just watching film the other day, and even our defense – uh, we had him run a, a, wheel, a wheel route out of the backfield, and they dropped the DN and the corner over top of him. So he took two guys out of one play. So that's going to open things up for other people. And so we're just trying to continue to find ways to get him the ball, get him in space. But he does such a great job of running, running between the tackles because he's got great vision. And so you know we don't want to take too much away from him, getting him out, you know, out in the open because we like running him be between the tackles. But definitely when he's on the field, he's a problem. Have another back in there at that time, then too. Oh yeah, know? yeah, yeah. It's going to open up more opportunities for those guys because right now we're trying to push their envelope of learning all the route concepts, everything that we do with him. So when he comes out of the game, we can just add those guys into it without you know changing personnel very much. Is there a little bit more pressure on Deuce just because the guys behind him have not had that much experience here at K State? No pressure, no pressure. He's he's a leader in the in the room. They watch him. Uh, he helps them out. Uh, he wants those guys to be good players. He knows we need those guys to be good players, so there's no undue pressure on him at all. Where's he at? Kind of historically for you and guys that you've coached, like in terms of just how special he's become. And well, like, he's such a different kind of back than the other guys I've coached before, you know. Um, he does it all as far as like running between the tackles, running on the edge, and running routes. So I've never had a guy that's been a complete package like that. So that's where he's so different, you know, and, and so, and he's so smart. You know, that's the thing that sometimes gets unnoticed, how smart he is as a football player. 
he can see things happen before it happens because he studies so much, you know, and, and that's one thing that talking to his mom this summer, she had no idea how he prepares for a game. And so he went through a weekly schedule and she was shocked. She had no idea that he studies that much. And so, you know, everything he does is, is like I said earlier, it's for a purpose to be the best player he can be. Connection to the family, being around the game so much. How has that helped your room? Because you guys are probably doing a little things a little bit differently now and often. Well, it's just a fact of him, him being who he is and where he comes from and the background he, he comes from. It helps me, you know, with the other guys. Because I said, hey, let's call his dad if you guys don't believe me. You know, and so his dad may say, hey, this is what we look for. You know, it's all about production. You know, and so when those guys look at me like I'm crazy sometimes, just get his dad on the phone and go, hey, when you guys are scouting guys and what you, when you guys are looking at guys, what are you looking for? And he helps, he helps me explain to those guys, hey, this is what it's like. This is what it is. And so it's been a great relationship with his dad and I for the last 20 plus years. Uh, with, uh, with Colin coming in as the offensive coordinator too, how has, how has that changed what you do in your room? Are there are there differences? Uh, not, not a lot of differences. Not a lot. We, you know, we're, we're trying to stay on task with what we've been doing. We may tweak a word here now, but everything that I'm doing that Colin wants me to do, continue to try to find ways to get Deuce the ball. So every week, I'm always looking at different things, maybe college, maybe NFL, on how people are using their better, their better players. And so that's what my job is, and, and try to find ways to get him the ball in different areas and uh, continue to, to do the things we've been doing and get better at all those things.